Has anyone ever said that you made the best barbecue they ever had? Well, get that compliment from a 75-year-old and you'll feel pretty good about your barbecue. You need to start with a great piece of meat, great barbecue sauce, and of course you gotta have a great rub. Today I'll show you how to make that rub. Start with a quarter cup each of turbinado sugar and brown sugar. Turbinado sugar flows and mixes better than brown sugar. Now, the sugar acts as a flavor enhancer. It helps build the crust, it balances acidity, and it neutralizes some of the spiciness. Too much brown sugar and the rub might not sprinkle out of your shaker right. We need a quarter cup of Nord Chicken Bouillon. This provides all the salt for my rub and it provides flavor enhancers. Two tablespoons granulated garlic, two tablespoons onion powder, two tablespoons paprika, adds color and flavor, two tablespoons black pepper, one tablespoon mustard powder, one tablespoon cumin, one tablespoon jalapeno powder. This is just enough to add some additional flavor. Two tablespoons of celery seed that's ground, promotes that smoke ring that we all want. We've got to have it. One tablespoon chili powder, it adds color and flavor. And one tablespoon umami powder that's ground. Now we have five senses of taste, bitter, salty, sweet, sour, and umami, which is the savory part. The umami powder is made from shiitake mushrooms and this provides a natural source of umami flavor. I usually don't do real hard recipes, but this recipe has 13 ingredients. But I have seen competition rub recipes that have more than twice that amount. So if you look at it that way, then 13 is really not too bad. Before you start, grind your celery seeds and the umami powder. You can use a spice grinder or a coffee grinder. Now add all your ingredients into a mixing bowl or other container. Mix it with a whisk or if your container has a lid, just cover it up and give it a shake. Now it's ready to use. Enjoy. This is a great rub. But be sure to check out my video on Blind Hog Barbecue Sauce. If you're watching on YouTube, the link for the Blind Hog Barbecue Sauce is right up here. You can find this recipe in the description area at YouTube. Once you have the Blind Hog Sauce, the Blind Hog Rub, then you can work on turning any piece of meat into something special. Hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paw Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue. Ruff, ruff, ruff,